Right, we're on how to simplify green reading. Let's be honest, who doesn't need to simplify their green reading? Reading greens is hard work. How does it go? Left, right, straight? Who knows? But there must be a technique that can ensure we all get it right every time. Ooh. So my ball's landed here, the bottle is the hole. I have to find a way, how, how do I know if it's going to break left to right, right to left? Now, if I pour water on the green, it's going to give me an, uh, uh, an indication as to where the ball's going to roll. Where would the water go? But I don't have water with me, apart from the bottle. So it's hard to be precise and know exactly how that putt's going to break. But there is a way we can do this. Now you need to do this in practice to get the idea of what's going to actually happen. And when I say do it in practice, I mean take an implement on the golf course with you to simplify green reading for when you're actually in play. So what I have with me is I have a dinner plate. I'm going to place this plate, so my, my ball's here. If I place the plate on the line of the putt between the ball and the hole, take another golf ball and place it in the middle of the plate and then just let gravity do its thing. So that ball will roll to somewhere on the plate, eventually. And once it sits down, so I can now see that the golf ball is at the bottom of the plate, which suggests that directly up that line is a straight up and down putt. So if I take that across here is a straight up and down putt. So if I was to place a ball here, a circle, the same radius as where my golf ball is landing, there, that is a straight up and down putt. You can see what's happening there. The ball is coming to rest at the bottom of the plate. So I now know, I now know this is downhill. So that's a straight uphill putt. So now I've got a straight line putt, which makes it much easier to find out the break of my actual putt. So I've drawn this diagram. You'll see here that I've, this is the bottle. I've found the straight uphill putt, which is six o'clock. So that's a straight uphill putt. Now my golf ball, I've found out I can identify it's in this quarter of the clock because it's the right hand side of the uphill putt. So then I can then find out where is number three, where is number four and where is number five and where is my golf ball in the relationship in relation to three, four, five or six o'clock. Now five, six o'clock has got no break because it's straight uphill, which means 12 o'clock would have no break because it's straight downhill. Three o'clock would have the most break because it's straight across the hill. 4 would have less than 3, 5 would have less than 4, 6 would have 0. So it's up to me now to find out where my putt is. So I'll remove the plate and the ball. Here's the straight up and down, this is number 6, this is 6 o'clock. I'm then going to go and find 3 o'clock, so 3 o'clock is right on the edge of the hill. But the same distance away from where my golf ball is, 3 o'clock. Six o'clock, so I would then have three o'clock, I would have four o'clock, five o'clock, and my ball there is just between five and six. So I know that the straight up and down hill, number six is a straight line, straight up the hill. Number three has got most break, so number three's got lots of break round the hill. Whoa. <laughs> Number four's got less than three, but it's going to have more than five. Okay, and then I've got number five here, which has got less than six. This has got just a little bit of break from the right. So I know now my putt was, number six was here, and between five and six, there's not much break at all. So six is straight up and down. Seven, if that was the left quarter, so that would be the seven, eight, nine quarter of the, of the, of the clock. That would work the same way because it breaks to the right. If, because I'm on the right hand side of the six o'clock, my putt breaks left. But if I'm close to the up and down line, there's not much break at all. So here I am now with my putt. A little bit of break off the right. Three was extreme, six has got zero. I'm closer to five than I was to six, so there's a little bit more break than there would be for the straight up and down. Boom. Yes. <laughs> so now on the golf course, I've got three random putts. Let's just put one there, one there and one there, just for the sake of it. So I obviously can't put the plate down with the golf ball on, but I can walk around and feel where's straight up and down. 
Well, I kind of know because I've done my work over here. If I'm looking at the green complex and everything goes downhill here, this is the 14th hole at Peebles Golf Club. Everything goes downhill. So I know it runs from back to front, but it also runs a little bit back, right, front, left-ish. So there's a bit of camber there. So if I just stand and have a wee walk around and feel, where do I think the number six is? Where's straight up and down? It's this side of the hole. I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking this ball is pretty close to straight up and down. So this is number six. I'm happy with that being number six. I'm going to put this one first, just to see if I'm correct. I've found my straight up and down. I'm right on number six. This is a great leave. Straight up and down. It was straight up and down. I pushed it. So now I'm on the golf course. So that's my ball in place. So I've assessed, okay, there's my straight up and down. My ball is left of the straight up and down, which means it's going to break to the right. So let me wander around. So 90 degrees from there would be here at three o'clock. So that's got far too much break for me. Or sorry, this would be nine o'clock. So if I go down to eight o'clock, seven o'clock, six o'clock. So this has got quite a bit of break. This is eight o'clock, which was the same as our old four o'clock. So it's definitely off the left, breaking to the right. Quite a bit of break, not as much as nine, but certainly breaking off the left. Just ran it through the break, but the line was perfect. And then of course, six o'clock, straight up and down. Three o'clock's at 90 degrees to that, which is here. So again, I'm four o'clock. So this is a very similar putt to what I just had, but from the other side of the hole. So I know it's coming off the right, four o'clock putt. Boom. So this one here, I, I hit too hard. This one here, I pushed to the right, but I've got a great understanding of the line of the putt because I did just basically found the uphill putt. That will simplify your green reading. Find the uphill putt, but you have to practice that. You really have to get a plate, get a marble. Marble's good because it's, it's quicker. The golf ball with the dimples, it takes a bit of time to settle. And find your uphill putt. If your ball's left of the uphill putt, on the green, it breaks to the right. If it's the right hand side, it breaks to the left. So right hand side would be one o'clock to six o'clock. Left hand side would be six o'clock back up to 12. Then of course, let's just take that portion we were in before. Three o'clock to six o'clock, three, four, five, six. Three's got most break, four's got less break, five's got even less break, six has got zero break. But remember, that quarter's uphill. Both quarters we've used are uphill. The other side of the clock, so the top half of the clock from nine o'clock to three, that's downhill. So just think about pace putting as well. Ladies and gents, it's been a pleasure again. Peebles Golf Club, 14th hole. Come and play Peebles, it's fantastic. I am obviously on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, on Facebook. It's all linked below. If you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. Also hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos and click the thumbs up button. I like it. YouTube likes it. That is important to click that. And I'll see you in my next video.